welcome. Thanks for joining us. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Arizona Diamondbacks taking on the Cleveland Guardians. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go now. Pitching in our game today, Joey Cantillo. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, you look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. The pitch. In the air, right side. Quan settles underneath it. Makes the grab one down. Time to take a look at the Diamondbacks lineup. Someone who makes things happen for them in part with his legs, Jake McCarthy. Well, Boog, there aren't many guys who have a flair for the big moment like he does. I mean, batting over 400 with runners in scoring position. Are you kidding me? I know it's not guaranteed or an automatic, but I hope we get to see him in a close late game situation no. with runners in scoring position and just see, is he truly a machine or not? One down, base is empty. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Batting third. The and Jack hitter. Peterson stands Gone. in. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. Hard hit, left field, base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Really stayed that inside cool. that baseball the to send it to the opposite field. With the shift on to the pull side, yeah. that's an easy knock if you'll take it. And now the switch hitting first baseman Josh Bell. Edge of the zone for a strike. 0-1. Here's someone, historically speaking, that prefers day games over night games. So I'm excited to see what he does in this one. Next offering is foul back. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. One left for Arizona. And now the Guardians will see what their bats can do in a scoreless ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Cleveland. And pitching here today, Jordan Montgomery. Yeah, he's definitely had a struggle so far this year, as evidenced by that inflated whip. But he's going to have to find a way to limit the base runners, put his team in a position to win a ball game. So we know he's prepared. We know this guy is a competitor. And we'll watch how he works in this one. So in now for Cleveland, Stephen Kwan. Stephen Kwan. As the lefty gets to work. There's a strike at the knees, going one. In the air, out towards right center. Carroll makes a nice running catch. Here's the Guardians lineup now. A really frustrating showing for them in their last game. Lots of traffic on the bases, but they left a ton of runners on base. Couldn't cash in their chances, Chris. They had plenty of chances. There's nobody to blame it on but themselves offensively. They just did a poor job converting in those situations. You have to figure out what's your plan going to be. Maybe watch some tape from the last game. Make the adjustment. So if you get those opportunities in this one, you've got a much better chance of scoring some runs. Let's go, Cleveland! 
And the lefty with the 0-1. That one fouled off. Owen Chu now. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's Jose Ramirez. That's towards center. McCarthy trying to get there. He's there. He's got it. And that's the inning. Guardians turned away in the first. We played one in Cleveland with no score on the show. New inning getting started. Here's the left fielder, Lourdes Goriel Jr. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field. But he can jump you if you make a mistake. Cantillo back to work. Goriel gets a piece. And now the lefty. And there's a foul ball. The 0 2. Hit on the ground to the right side. And that one handled to first. And quickly one away in the second. That is it. The center fielder, Jake McCarthy. Jake McCarthy stands in now for the Diamondbacks. And first offering is fouled off. Great swing and solid contact. Just a little too quick. He's got to stay back a little longer. Lined into right. Quan makes the grab. Two up, two down. Batting seven. The third baseman. Two Eugenio outs, base is empty. And Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. Right through there for a strike. Well, the key to his success is getting ahead early in the count. He cannot afford to go deep in the counts. Doesn't have a ton of swing and miss stuff, so he's going to have to work efficiently. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And Arizona is set down one, two, three. Nothing doing for Arizona. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back now at Progressive Field. Bottom of the second. Now here is Josh Naylor. Josh Naylor. The pitch. And yeah, that's outside. And that is ball one. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. Brings it in. And a quick out number one. Here's Lane Thomas. He's a guy. Chris's highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. And that one fouled off. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to. Outside, that's the ball. Just missed. Just off the inside edge. No score here in the second. Short hop liner handled it short to first. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Here's Andres Jimenez. 
We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. 0-2 oh, now. Broken bat, and it's popped up. Suarez makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Guardians fail to score. We'll move to the third with no score. Top half of the Leading third inning Arizona. at the play. Gabriel Moreno. Gabriel Moreno. The pitch. Swing. Ball one. Swing and a slow roller. Jimenez. Leadoff hitter oh. gone in the third. Batting none. The shortstop. Geraldo Perdomo, Perdomo stands in now for the Diamondbacks. A switch hitter batting right. Swing and a foul straight back. Cantillo, a 6'4 lefty. 220 pounds and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in Hawaii that one missing inside top of the third no score and that's off the inside edge and it's two and one oh he never moved because he never had time to but that kind of velocity you'd prefer that pitcher work away one down base is empty Foul ball there. Oh, Tap man. dances out of the way of that one. One out, base is empty. Ground ball to the right side. He'll do it himself. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. This is Corbin Carroll. Flied to right his first time. Outside. And that's ball one. And another ball. Two out spaces empty. a strike and it's two and one now and that gets the top of the zone for a strike up the middle toss to Naylor and it's a one two three inning Diamondbacks down quickly, and we're still knotted at zero. And we're back. Bottom of the inning. Now it's the rookie DH, number 10. The designated hitter, Daniel Schneider. Montgomery back to work. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Looks like he sacrificed a pitch right down the middle for tracking and timing. Some good hitters will do that. And he deals. Just missed the inside corner, and the count is one and two. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. Yeah. 
not <laughs> even close there. And the count is two and two. Out to short. Perdomo on the first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Batting eight. The catcher. Whoa. Bo Naylor at the plate now. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. Just missed. Next offering is in for a strike. At the belt and fires. Slap the other way, foul. Here's a one two. Gets a piece and stays alive. One two now. Two ball, two strikes. Wouldn't chase that time. Lace to right center, base hit. Around first and hustling for second. The throw in. Not going to get him. He's in there. Everything came together for him. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the bucket. Man at second with one away. Ryan Rocchio will hit next. And a foul ball. Here comes a pitch. Outside low, and it's one and one. The one one is fouled off. The shortstop takes the ball. One out and a runner at second. And it's filled up. This one in the air right field. Two down. Now that the right fielder. Back to the top of the lineup. Steven Kwan digs in for the Guardians. He's 0 for 1. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. Gets the outside corner with that one. When you look at the elite teams in the game right now, there is going to be the slug, no question about it. But the really good offensive teams combine slug with more contact, with less swing and miss. The one two bounce to the right and that's just foul. Yeah and the domino effect of that is running up pitch counts on pitchers and then either getting them to a place of fatigue or getting into the bullpen perhaps before you get.
to those higher leverage arms at the back end. Runner at second, two down here in the last half of the third. Three. Down on strikes he goes. That's the inning. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Here in Cleveland, John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Cattell Marte. And a pitch. That one fouled off. The pitch. And that one hit to first. And it goes just foul. One of the things that Jim Leland used to say when I was broadcasting with the Marlins, the longer a plate appearance goes for a batter, the more likely it is that something good will happen for the hitter. Jimenez throw to first. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. And now Jack Peterson. And he's already singled in this game. Just oh, missed. Hit. Fouls one off out of play back to our left. The pitch. Good That's eye right open. there. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Martinez moving under this one. And that quickly two away. The first baseman, number nine. Josh. Here's Josh Bell. Yeah. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Oh. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Right through there for a strike. That Whoa, misses. Two balls and a strike. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. Good eye in that spot. Oh, they have had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. And a pitch. And he walked him. Boom, oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, Ooh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Guriel in the box now as he looks at ball one. Second plate appearance of the day for him. Next pitch in for a strike and a count one and one. Two outs. Oh, he nope. doesn't get the call. And a count two and one. Fourth inning underway, no score. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. And here it comes. Fouls it back with two strikes. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. Back there. And out of here. Home run number 15 on the year. It's 2-0. pitch he wanted to hit spit on some other pitches in this at bat was very patient and it paid off digging in it's the speedy outfielder Jake McCarthy 
0 for 1 so far. That just misses. Ball one. Two down, nobody on. Right through there for a strike. And another ball. And a pitch. That one is hammered. Right field. Quan ranging back. And caught on the warning track. D backs at a pair on the homer. It's now a 2 0 ball game. And welcome back to the ballpark. Digging in is the switch hitting outfielder, Angel Martinez. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. And a pitch. And that curveball drops in there for a strike. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there and have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. They stack center field. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Now that dominant performance for him today, Boo. Just two hits allowed so far. No runs across either. And he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. Here's Jose Ramirez. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. And misses inside. The Guardians down by a pair. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Ramirez swings and lifts this one. Deep to left. Hits the fence. Throw into third. And he's into second with nobody out. Just an awesome swing of the bat, quick hands, and just lost the baseball. 108 on the exit velocity. Man, that is coming off the bat pretty good. I know he's feeling good about it. Here's Josh Naylor. He's 0 for 1. Ball. Skips in and excellent work to corral that one. Could have been dangerous. Two runners in scoring position. Nobody out. Bounced up the middle. Throws the first in time. But they cut it to one as the run comes in. Well, you're definitely looking to do more with that opportunity at the plate. Two runners in scoring position. But at least he puts the ball in play. They bring across no, one run. Still run out there to pick up. Lane Thomas digs in for the Guardians. Rounded out his first time up. Just oh, off the back. inside edge. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Hey. Right through there for a strike. Runner on at third, one gone. Next hey. offering is in for a strike. Kicks and fires. Line drive. That's a fair ball inside third. The tying run is in to score from third. We are tied at two. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Up next for Cleveland, Andres Jimenez. First time up was a pop out. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Ball outside. Low throw and he can't dig it out. Still only one out here in the inning. 
And there's a foul ball. Up the middle, Marche. He is safe. Got himself in great position and couldn't have played that one any better, but just stood no chance with that great speed running down the line. One down. Next is the designated hitter. Grounded out his first time. Montgomery keeping an eye on him. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Help, one and oh. In the dirt. Runners stay put. That's ball one. If you were an average catcher behind the plate, I'd say take second base, but this isn't a catcher you want to run on. His quick release is unreal. Next oh. offering is down low. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. And a foul ball makes the count two and one. Runners are at the corners, one away. That one's in there, and now two and two. Great spot to be in right here for the pitcher. He can either strike this guy out or get a ground ball double play. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. And that misses off the outside edge. Bo Naylor up next. Left hand hitter waits. In the air, right field. Carroll moving under it. Brings it in. Runner tags for home. Throw is on line, and he scores. 3-2, they take the lead. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. Bo Naylor digs in for the Guardians. Doubled his first time up. That's in for a strike on the outside corner. It's 0-1. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Next yeah, offering oh, way off the plate. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Run around the move. That's in for a strike. Throw to second, and he's safe. That was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. And okay, another ball. ball two. And a swing and a miss. And that'll keep more runs from coming in, inning over. Three runs on four hits, no errors, and one left on. We played four. Guardians three, and the Diamondbacks two. Ready now for the fifth inning. Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. Eugenio Suarez. The pitch. And that one fouled off. The pitch. And one that's and in the dirt. One and one. Wouldn't you chase won. that time. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. High fly ball out to left field. Martinez hauls it in, and there's one away. 
now batting. Next to hit for Arizona, Gabriel Moreno. Rolled out to second in his first at bat. Fouled off. He was late. The Diamondbacks down by a run. And we're at the top of the fifth. And that one ripped to left. Martinez right there to make the grab. Out number two. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Geraldo Perdomo. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. That one finds the zone. Strike one. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low, throwing the ball very well right now. Next offering is in for a strike. He doesn't seem to like the pitch up, hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. Kick and deals. High fly ball, right field. Quan heads after it. Makes the catch inning over. Back here in Cleveland, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's Brian Rocchio. shortstop. All right, Siggy, trivia time. Back when this ballpark opened, 1994, one future Hall of Famer hit the first triple in the park, and another hit the first homer by a Cleveland player. Think you know who they were? Okay, I know that Ken Griffey Jr. hit the first triple here, but first homer for Cleveland. Yeah. Give me a hit. Switch hitter. That's all you're getting. Oh, dude. Eddie Murray, no doubt. Bam! And ball one. Tough to take a two-strike two changeup that just missed. They get frozen. Three. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. We're going to take a look at the pitch sequence of that at bat. And the thing to notice are the pitch locations. Every single one of them on the edges of the strike zone. And as a hitter, that can be pretty frustrating because you don't expect the pitcher to be able to make quality pitches one after another like that. And so those are tough spots to do damage in a great demonstration of pitch command. And it got him a punch out that time. Now a chance for Stephen Kwan. He swings and fouls one off. Base is empty one away. Last half of inning number five. Pulls that one foul. Here's the 0-2. And one that's ball, in the dirt. Two strikes. That just ball. misses two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Left hand batter waits. Got him looking for the K. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. The left fielder, number on Hell Martinez. Angel. Getting ready to hit. One for two. Martinez. And a foul ball. And that's off that's the time. inside edge. One ball, one strike. Foul ball. Two outs. Good job to fight that one off. The pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Tapped softly on the ground. On to first. 
Guardians go down in order. Nothing doing for the Guardians there, but they still lead it 3 2. And we're back. We go. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Here's the Diamondbacks leadoff hitter, Corbin Carroll. Cantillo back to work. Ball one low. And that one fouled off. The one one. That's ball two. Home plate umpires try to tighten things up a little bit. And he deals. Fought off foul. And a pitch. Okay. Cattell Marte on deck for Arizona. Three and two now. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. This to center field. Settles underneath it. Makes the grab. One away. The batter number two. Second baseman. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. Marte, a career batting average over 300, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Pitch misses, ball one. At the belt and fires. And the 1 0 misses low. The Guardians leading by a run, and we're at the top half of the sixth. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Quad makes the catch. That's out number two. Now Here's Jack Peterson. John Peterson. Strike one. All ones the count. And now the lefty. And that one fouled off. And a pitch. Just off the inside corner. And a count one and two. Got him looking. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. No runs, no hits, no errors. Hard of the order. Three, four, five coming up. Guardians three and the Diamondbacks two. Back now at Progressive Field. Now, Jose Ramirez. Ramirez had a breakout season in 2016 and has consistently put up great offensive numbers ever since. Great contact skills, and he can hit for pop. That's what makes Jose Ramirez so dangerous. And that drops in for a strike. Movement in the bullpen for the Diamondbacks. Brandon Fack up and throwing. Floro also throwing. And the 0 1. There's the strike at the knees. Quickly into an 0 2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. Oh, that's low. And downstairs. On the ground to the left. 
Sends it to first, and Ramirez is set Number down. Patient. Number 22, Josh Naylor. And now it's Josh Naylor. You and I got a chance to broadcast the 2019 All-Star Game, and the city of Cleveland did such a great job. I felt like wherever you turned, Whoa. there was some type of now ad for the All-Star Game, a face of one of the players playing in the game. I thought the city overall supported the event really well. There's the strike. Yeah, and I think the players uh, backed it up from the home run derby and the show that was put on between... Vladimir Guerrero Jr., yeah. Pete Alonzo, and others. It was off the charts. And then the game is always special. When you see the best in baseball, you remember how special this game is. Three. And to be here at this ballpark, um, I think just was the icing on the cake. Really love the pitch the sequence right there. I'm telling you what, field. pitcher and catcher on the same Play. page right now. Summit. Two outs, base is empty. Stepping in, Lane Thomas. And first offering is fouled off. And the pitch. Hit hard on the ground is short. The throw to first. Three up, three down, inning over. Guardians fail to score, but they're up three to two. Here in Cleveland, we go to the top of the seventh, and now the first baseman, Josh Bell. The pitch. Right through there for a strike. Double-barreled action in the bullpen. Nick Sandlin getting ready to go. Gaddis also getting ready. Outside low, and now it's even one and one. Hard ground ball, base knock. And that puts the tying run on base. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Joey Cantillo departs, and he leaves with the lead after giving them some decent innings. We'll be back with a new pitcher in a moment. The Guardians going with a new pitcher, Tanner Bybee. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. He's already homered in this game. There's a strike. Right-hander kicks deals. One ball, one this break. one in the dirt. Nothing doing. Count moves to one and one. Check swing, no appeal. With the tying run on at first, here in the top half of inning number seven. To third. Off balance B, there's one. On the nailer, they get two. Hey, they played the matchup right there, worked out perfectly. Got the ground ball double play, and that changes the complexion of this inning entirely. Jake McCarthy stands in now for the Diamondbacks. 
And immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. Swing get a ball popped up. Rokio settles underneath it. And that is that. Brandon Fat into the game. He's been so good against lefties. Now pitching for Arizona. Number 32, Brandon Fat. Well, one run game. Stepping up for the Guardians. Andres Jimenez. The wind of the pitch. And takes low for ball one. Righty delivers. And he grounds one to the right side. Tosses to oh. first. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. The batter, number 10. Designated hitter, Daniel. Now it's the Guardians yeah. DH. First oh. pitch doesn't find the zone. Right through there for a strike. Base is empty one away. Here the bottom of the seven. Swing and a miss. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do Look against a hitter like this, Whoa. known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Naylor up to the plate for the third time as he looks at one down low. On the ground right side. And it's a one, two, three inning. Nothing doing for the Guardians there. And it remains a 3 2 ball game. Welcome back. And a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Nick Sandlin. And he's been racking up strikeouts at a high rate this year. Typically at least one an inning. So he'll be tough to get to. So now a pinch hitter, Kevin Newman. And he would be the tying run boot, so we may see him try to launch one if he gets a good pitch to handle. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And that's off the inside edge. And it's one to no. Looking to get the tying run on base. Ball two. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Emmanuel Classe up and loosening in the pen. Hey. And he gets that fastball by him upstairs. As a hitter, you got to learn something from that pitch. You clearly wasn't timed up on the fastball. In a 2 0 count, you have to be ready to do damage. 2 2 down. Stays alive. The wind of the pitch. Popped up right side. Naylor on his way over. One up, one down. That was a good hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop up and an easy out for the defense. Moreno, the next to hit, takes low for a ball. Oh. 
And another ball. Ripped on the ground a second. Toss to Naylor. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Now, here is Geraldo Perdomo. The shortstop takes the ball. Holding on to a one-run lead, and we're in the top of the eighth. And a foul ball. And the right hander deals. That one fouled off. No, no signs of wavering on the mound here in the eighth. He's looking rock solid so far. Two down, nobody on. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. The line of the pitch. That's a little bit low. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Center field. Thomas on the move. And that'll do it. Staying in the game on defense, Kevin Newman. He'll play third after coming into the game as a pinch hitter. Well, one run game, and the batter will be the shortstop, Brian Rocchio. The shortstop, The why to kick the pitch. That one's upstairs, ball one. One and oh. One, no strike. Just two. missed. Two ball, no strike. And that one pulled foul. The pitch. On the ground to third, Newman. Throws across oh. the diamond. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Here's the Cleveland leadoff hitter, Stephen Kwan. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. And the righty deals. Fastball for a strike. Lifted in the air down the left side. Guriel handles the chance. The left fielder, number one, Angel. So two down now, and here is Angel Martinez. One for three. And there's the strike. Outside. Man, this has been a real important inning in relief. I mean, so far, they've been doing a great job holding that deficit at one. And he chases that one. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. The closer, Emmanuel Classe. He pitched yesterday and we'll see him once again. So back to the top of the Arizona lineup, Corbin Carroll stands in now for the Diamondbacks. The pitch. 